Hey guys, short video here today. Um, so last time when I first installed my LED bulb upgrade in my headlights video, I couldn't figure out how to install my little rubber uh, dust boot. So I figured it out the other day. I could just put it back. I put it back on the car first and then shove the bulb through. It's that simple. Look at that. And the bulb itself will hold the boot in and it's not as tight as it would be with the stock bulb but it is what it is you know it works pretty well it's better than having it wide open right there hope you guys can see that so that's it while i have you guys here i might as well update you on some of the things going on with my car here so i bought a set of these they're supposed to be a replica stickers so if your stickers are ever, ever messed up you can replace them right as you can see there mine got scuffed mm. but unfortunately for me these are the wrong size look at that well these were the smallest ones i found so far guess i have to look for something like that oh well i'll have them around for something else i guess Got a bunch of other exciting stuff going on. As we all know, there are strut tower bars you can get. I mean, they're like a hundred something dollars from Japan on Yahoo auctions. And then after your commissions and shipping, you're probably looking at like 250 or so is my guess. Uh, what I'm trying to do here is develop something myself here, have a machine shop make them. And that way we'll have the, uh, the plate on the top. And hopefully I can sell them to you guys for roughly the same price, like 200, 250. Uh, so that way, when something like that is developed, I can also mount my horn better. Right now it's just using these trim pieces over here. But my friend 3D printed this plate for me. It's meant to mount two of these horns, but right now I only have one of them. I don't know what happened to the other one. I'll have to find it somewhere in my messy garage. But that's a front strut tower bar. The rear one, there's those uh, braces I've also seen on Yahoo au auctions. Those can probably be more easily made than that because this we gotta draw the little plate out. Um, let's see what else we got here. Of course, there's the downpipe situation. Uh, I should be able to speak with this guy on Monday, Monday the 27th. So we're gonna hash out how to get together and figure out what we need to do here. We're gonna get the flanges made and then they can develop a new pipe new downpipe that's less restrictive than this that way our airflow can flow better and maybe we'll get a little bit more power out of our car last bit of this video i got my auto giano stuff i finally got the paint and primer to prep these i don't know how they're going to turn out hopefully they turn out okay these are the a pillar gauge pods they're 52 millimeter still shopping for gauges i don't know which ones to get yet I've decided I'm going to stick with the metric system because the car is from Japan, so I will be, uh, I'll be reasonable here and keep the metric. Uh, this is the e-brake cover. As you know, in the center of the car there where the e-brake typically is, there's nothing. It's just an e-brake coming out of the, the carpet, and that's it. So I'm going to paint this black and fit this over there, and it's supposed to make it nice, right? So that's another thing to get. I don't know much about fiberglass, but they look to be of decent quality. They're really smooth. They don't have any chips or cracks or anything like that. They're nice and firm, so they're pretty thick. Uh, what's that? They're probably at 1 16th. I don't know. I don't know that in millimeters. But you can see like the fibers. Looks pretty good. Let me see if I can mock these up for you so you can take a peek at what they look like in the car. Oh, sorry. I will be using this VHT stuff. I decided after Googling a bunch of different things, I'm going to try to use this. I'm going to use this primer first after I scuffed them up. And I ended up choosing this plastic paint. It's also high temperature, so it should be okay when it's roasting in our little fishbowl car. So let's see. As you can see, I have this... Uh, magic internet tape, the double-sided like sticky silicone tape just holding my gauge pod down. I think the sticky silicone suction cup was good enough, but I had that for extra precaution so this thing doesn't tumble around. It's been on here for 
nearly the year now. I forget when I installed this. I installed this when I was fiddling with my blow-off valve. So whenever that was. I never completed my video to show you how to install a boost gauge because I figured I was going to wait for my proper boost gauge and this, not this thing. When you buy these from Auto Giano, they'll label them and then uh, right here you can see bottom, center, top. When I ordered these, I elected not to get them all to be the same, so the gauge pods have some like different angular degrees or whatever, I forget what this is called, but that way it's angled for your seating position so they're not all in the same position that's why they're not all the same and let's see so this one's bottom just slip it on there Ooh. okay uh, this one is center i'm gonna have to figure out how to adhere these two i bet some like sticky stuff or whatnot will be involved here onto the pillar and put my camera down so let me fit this top one on too Go away, bug. Put this top one on. Look at that. So, I have my camera at about my eye level, but a little, a lot more forward than where I would be sitting. I'm gonna move the camera back. So, the middle of the camera is at about my the tip of my nose, and I think this will work out. Um, I'm taller, so my lowest gauge will be blocked a little bit. Uh, let me let me see. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna angle this so it looks exactly like what I see on the screen. All right, this is what I see. So as you can see, my lowest gauge will be slightly blocked, and honestly, that's not any different. As you can see, my instrument cluster, I just don't see half <laughs> half of the gauges anyways. So uh, I probably put the least important gauge down there. I have decided what I'm going to get. I'm going to get oil temperature, water temperature, and uh, boost. So boost will be up here. I like I like seeing the boost gauge. It's fun to watch. Oh no. Okay. Well, let's get this cleaned up and see you next time on the next videos. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and you'll get updates on my mods here. And if you decide, hey, you like that, you can get your own too. See you next time.